Today we look how to create an animated GIF in Canva. And best of all, it's totally free. I'm here on Canva. You can use a template to create a GIF, but let's look at how to create one from scratch. I'll click Create, and then I'll click Videos. In my case, I wanna make a square GIF. So if I scroll over here, I can choose Facebook video. And the reason I like these video presets is that they tend to have better timing options. When you create a custom project in Canva, it doesn't always show you the timeline down at the bottom of the screen. But it seems like when you use one of these video templates, it does. So that's why I prefer to use them. So I'll click on Facebook video. So let's make a design that says happy birthday. I wanna put an animated birthday cake here. On the left, I'll click elements, and then I'll search and I'll type birthday cake. Now what I can do is click these three lines for the settings here, and then I can filter by animated. So I'll do this. I'll click the three lines again. And we have different categories here. Graphics tend to be more artistic or hand-drawn, and videos tend to be more realistic. You can choose what you like, for this example, I'll do one of the graphics. The crowns are for Canva Pro, but the ones without the crown are free. I like this one, so I'll click and drag it onto my canvas. It's a cool little animation. I'll also change the background color. I'll click on the background here. I'll click the color wheel. Let's see what looks good. I like this blue here, so let's go with that. I'll close it. Now let's add some text. You can add your own text, or if you scroll down, you can see pre-made examples. I like this one here, so let's click and drag it onto our canvas. I'll change the text so it says happy birthday. I'll resize it. I can also animate the text itself. So with the text selected, I'll click animate. I'll click group, that'll select both of them. And let's try one of these down here. Let's do tumble on, so let's do this. So now my text will tumble onto the screen. Now at any point we can get a preview of what our GIF is going to look like. So I'll press preview. And here we can see it in action. Now by default it's five seconds. I think that's actually too long. If I click on my canvas, I can click on this clock here to edit the timing. So let's press this, and I can change the time. Let's make it say two seconds. Now let's play with preview. And sometimes you'll notice a glitch where things don't quite play correctly. Let's try resizing my text a little bit. I'll move it around a little. It's a little glitchy that preview sometimes. Let's try it now. So now it seems to be working and you can see it's only two seconds long. Now we could download this right now, but if you want to add another scene to your GIF, let me show you how to do that. And what you would do is click Add Page here. So I'll click Add Page. Let's shorten the length. Let's again make it maybe two seconds. Let's add a different element. So I'll go to Elements. Let's search this time for, say, Kitten. I'll go through the graphics here. I like this one. Let's try it out. Let's change the background color. And let's add our own custom text. I'll press Text. I'll drag a text box over here. Let's say Enjoy your special day, change the color. Let's give it an outline, I'll click effects, outline, make it really thick, let's make it white. Maybe that's a better color. So now if we preview it, you can see we start with our original one and we transition to the other page. So now let's actually download it. To do this, press share, click download. Now under file type, you wanna click this drop down, and you wanna choose GIF. Now remember that GIFs don't support sound, so don't expect that to be in your video. If you do have sound in your project, download as an MP4 and I'll preserve the sound. But GIF will not support sound. Make sure you have your pages selected. I'll press download. And I do notice it can take a little while sometimes, maybe up to 30 seconds. So here's my file, happy.gif, I'll download it. Let's open it. And now if I double click it on my computer, you can see we have this animation here. Let me show you how to use templates for a GIF. I'll add a new page. But you can start with a new project when you do this. Then click Design, and then just search for your chosen topic. The crown ones are for Canva Pro, but there's some free options here. If you click on this one, it gets added to your template here. Then you can go and change as you like. And from here, you download the result just like before. If there's any Canva topics you want to see a video on, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.